going to be a very different picture in downtown Spokane by this time tomorrow. Here's a shot from this morning. What a cold, frosty morning across the inland northwest, but we haven't even begun to cool down. Your forecast first for tonight, snow overnight. It's going to be actually developing early tomorrow morning and light at first. 26 degrees for an overnight low. Should be dry for any of your evening festivities. 32 for a high tomorrow. One to three inches of snow in Spokane during the day. Another two inches overnight Saturday into Sunday morning. Winds will be picking up in the afternoon with gusts up to 25 miles per hour. Our high today, 30. 32 is our average high. We haven't been talking about below average temperatures in quite some time. No precipitation out at the airport. Our sunset today was at 404. Right now it's 28 in Spokane. Our low tonight, 26. So we're not going to drop much from this current reading. As you can see, we're right at the dew point. Patchy fog already beginning to develop. It's 27 right now in Coeur d'Alene with a dew point at 25. Here's the winter storm warning. A lot of information on this. We'll go through it quickly. In the Northeast Mountains, up to six inches in the valleys, even more in the valleys of North Idaho. Some locations getting up to nine inches. The Central Panhandle up to 10 inches in the valleys. Once we head down into the Palouse, we're looking at some big snow in the Idaho Palouse. The Washington Palouse, you may see a little bit of rain mixing in with the snow in the afternoon, but still up to six inches in some of the valleys. And winter storm Storm warnings. I want to point out over both passes going both directions. Tomorrow is not a good travel day. Heading over the passes late in the day on Sunday would be a big improvement. Winter weather advisory for the east slopes, the Okanagan area, Spokane, two to five inches of snow. So a big difference just between Spokane and Coeur d'Alene in how much snow we are getting from this system dropping in from the north. Behind it, we'll have some snow showers for Sunday and then much colder air heading in into next week or going back down into the deep freeze. So you better shovel it because that snow is not going anywhere once it falls. Snow overnight tonight, but we're talking overnight into early tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the 20s. Could see a little bit of rain mixing in with the snow around Moses Lake. OMAC, some light snow possible. Heading east, snow likely. Breezy conditions in the afternoon with temperatures right around freezing. Two to three inches in the valleys just during the day tomorrow in the Northeast Mountains and North Idaho. Possibly a little bit of a rain snow mix around Moscow, Pullman and Lewiston, but all snow further to the north. Rain tomorrow in Seattle and Portland, a rain snow mix in Yakima, but snow for Cranbrook and Missoula as well as Boise. A snowy weekend, tricky pass travel. Again, Sunday, the second half of the day would be a much better better day if you can uh, wait that long. Cold and sunny next week. I mean really cold. 12 on Tuesday but sunny and uh, boy New Year's Eve is going to be cold. Uh, better put that strapless dress uh, back <laughs> or find yourself a wrap.